uh, we get a lot of questions about gold sovereigns, why they are a good investment. So uh, we thought we would make this little video. Hope you find it useful. We're going to demystify some of these uh, questions around gold sovereigns and, as an investment. As you probably are aware, there's lots of options out there to invest in gold. And uh, sovereigns, physical sovereigns, is just one of them. Sovereigns, for some people, isn't the right type of investment. Uh, some people, they look for easier options where you might have digital uh, ways of investing, such as gold ETFs. DG Gold is another one from the Royal Mint, and other mints, Perth Mint, have also different options of digital gold, which is basically asset backed. And then there are asset backed cryptocurrencies, gold backed cryptocurrencies as well. And these are all perhaps uh, convenient and easy ways for somebody to own gold. But for me personally, it will come down to the fact that gold sovereigns are in fact capital gains tax exempt in the UK. And that is such a benefit in my view that it just beats all other options. It's not just the fact that it's a great investment and it's good to own gold as a protection against future inflation and uh, currency depreciation and global macroeconomic threats and, and things like that. In fact, gold sovereigns are also a very historical coin. You, you might be aware of the fact the first gold sovereign was actually struck in 1489 during Henry VII and uh, they've been minted for over 200 years in their current shape and form. Gold sovereigns are one of the most collected coins in the world, and it's a very popular gold investment for bullion investors around the globe. So it's a very liquid and truly global marketplace. Personally, I'm struggling to find another vintage item that comes in such relatively good state of preservation as a gold sovereign. You know, for anything that's over 100 years old, you do have to pay a real premium to buy something that is in relatively good nick. And uh, you can buy some sovereigns. For example, here we've got a 1911 George V gold sovereign in MS62, which it's not the highest grade out there, but it is in mint state coin, which means it has never been circulated. It's just been in a, in a bag, perhaps for 100 years of, or, or something like that. And it's just had contact with other coins during that time. But in fact, it's a lovely coin that you can buy for something like 20 to 30% premium over the uh, metal value, which considering what it is, it is uh, quite uh, an interesting uh, piece of history. I think personally that one day gold sovereigns, uh, vintage gold sovereigns, will command a much higher premium than they do today. Now you can buy a George V or even a Victorian gold sovereign in even better than average grade for something like 3 4% premium over the metal value. And a modern, just struck today gold sovereign will cost you anything from 5% premium directly from the Royal Mint. So for me, gold sovereigns wins against other investment options for gold. I think one day, actually, vintage gold sovereigns will command a considerable premium and not be available at the prices they are at the moment. We are the Coin Cabinet. Uh, please get in touch if you are looking to buy or sell gold sovereigns of any quantity. We run monthly sovereign auctions, which are incredibly popular. We get some of the best prices for anything uh, relating to British and Commonwealth gold sovereigns.